Hi guys, Robbo46 here and welcome to round 14 of Robbo's Racing League on MotoGP15. Now, this time we are at Aragon, a circuit I can't stand. So let's see how qualifying went. As you can see, Njerk is on pole, followed by Pistol, One Racer and Magic Milk. I'm in fifth. I wasn't actually that far behind, uh, not as far as I was expecting. Um, Armorland is in sixth. I Dylan 7th, Brandy Scales 8th, GSXR Matt 24 9th, and STB Biker in 10th. So 10 riders, a track, I can't say, I can't stand the next track at Mategi either, so uh, it was kind of like just damage limitation to see what I could get on this race and the next race. Um, I wasn't expecting a lot, and uh, I know from my lap times, even though I actually set a personal best in qualifying somehow, even though my uh, setup didn't in fact load. But yeah, let's get on with it. Up the line, pretty decent start. Someone done a backflip, that was Pistol. Yeah, <laughs> don't know what happened there. Um, first corner, fourth place. Not too bad at the moment. But uh, something strange happened to me on the first lap, which you're about to see. Um, so currently fourth, now third. Fourth again. And then back in the third and then still third now actually second at this point I was thinking what the hell's going on went a little bit wide and lost two places so I went really wide and I gained two places so I was back up to second one race in front of me just point four. I was thinking what's, what's going on then he went wide now the one corner that I was struggling with is this corner here I cannot get a decent line around this corner at all uh, this line this time wasn't too bad, but you'll see in other laps I'm all over the place just because I I never got a decent line around that corner because I hate that corner. I hate most corners on this uh, track. So we're battling in third place. Now we're back up to second. And then, going into this weird chicane thing, momentarily, going to the lead. There's only a split second, but don't worry, it happens again. Right here, we're in the lead! And then we lose it again. So back into second. At this point I was thinking, what the fuck's going on? I hate this track and I don't know. I don't know what was going on. But I was fighting for the lead. Um, final corner. Went in a little bit wide. It's fine because uh, cut it back. And then onto the start finish straight. On the kerb a little bit. Not too much as uh, your back wheel will come up in the air. Lose a place. And then the first corner back into the lead momentarily as I get a little bit wide. And then back into second. And then third. So at the moment, a really good battle in the lead. And I was involved for once. So I was really happy about that. Still in second place. I didn't know how long this would last, whether it'd be race long. I was hoping it's going to be race long because I'd be like pissing myself on a track that I can't stand. Tech is going to be interesting. Be nice if it was like this, but I highly doubt it. Into the chicane, a little bit wide on the entry, but again, still battling with these two guys. But you notice that this corner again, someone went really wide. Then I go a little bit wide and he cuts back underneath. I do lose a bit of time there, um, and that's pretty much where I lose most of my time throughout the race on the curb breaking. Not too dangerous that time but usually if you break on the curb you bobble well over the place and then I go wide which is really annoyed with I hate that chicane anyway it's really slippy so I was back and forth which I was thinking that's that's fine fourth I'll settle with actually I wasn't I was thinking I want to catch these guys back up a pistol behind me 1.4 behind into the final corner Trying to stay with these front three. Front two just edging away slightly from third place. First corner again. It's weird because in time trial, even in qualifying, qualifying I was getting a bit a bit nervous because I done well, I started four laps on a crash in all four of them, and I had like three minutes left. And I managed to bang two half decent laps in. But uh, if I crashed in those two, I wouldn't have even put a time in, so that wouldn't have been too good. 
and their time trial I was crashing quite a lot as well. It's just one of those tracks where like this semi corkscrew is quite dangerous on the brakes, easy to lose front, especially on the left hander as well, but you're braking downhill. So it's losing time. You just saw an arrow just a minute ago, pistol catching me back up. You see it again there. I forgot to change gear there, so that lost me a bit of time. Pistol goes a little bit wide. So I'm still in fourth at the moment. And then into this horrible chicane. Lose the front really easily into there. And then onto the back straight. Crash further back with Brandy Scales. Pistol's in my slipstream. And it'll come past any minute now. Here he comes, goes really wide onto the gravel and we're still safe and forth. That's the trouble when you slipstream someone you've got to remember to brake it a little bit earlier because you're carrying that extra bit of speed. A little bit later on, still in fourth but I've been caught again by pistol. And then he goes past and this time he makes it stick. Go a little bit wide there. So no, no way of retaliating. And then go wide again, trying to get up the inside, but I, I cock it up. So lap seven now. I'm in fifth place. Magic Milk has been catching me for the past few laps. Armour Land is just ahead. He goes really wide. I go really wide. And then it turns into a three-way scrap for fourth place. Which I'm currently in. Into the first corner. Get outbreak by both of them. Try to regain that fourth place. Up to fifth. And now back down to sixth. Down to sixth again. A little bit wide, but managed to cut it back. Get a semi decent exit and then into the horrible chicane. And then the corner that I keep cocking up. I was trying so many lines throughout the whole race, and uh, none of them seemed to work. Then I had a message which put me right off and getting into the chicane, I had a crash. For once I actually forgot to turn my notifications off, I usually turn them off when I'm racing um, just because that happens. Um, so yeah, annoying but luckily someone else crashed just in front of me as you see there. So I was actually back up to fifth so not too bad. So yeah, I need to remember next time to uh, turn my messages off as I do in previous races but yeah I just completely forgot this time and that was my punishment so fifth place it was as we come to the end of lap eight Pistol had another crash further up and Moorland is 3.7 seconds ahead I was going to see if I could catch him, but I wasn't really holding my breath. What I was worried about is that Magic Milk in 6th. Well, you see that arrow there, he was catching me. So he was only 0.6 behind, I go wide again there. And into the corkscrew. Sliding, trying to get a decent line through here. Went a bit wide. Another crash for pistol. Oh, almost went a bit crashy there. I did go wide. 
I was trying hard to stay in front of Magic Mail because he was uh, not that far behind. I broke myself again. So things were going from bad to worse at the moment. I'm gonna get a good exit onto the stop, the uh, back straight. Sorry. His pistol is now in fourth of those few crashes. 3.9 ahead. Start finish straight, and we're just going to check out the race winner and jerks last lap just to see how he done it. So it's good to see how the uh the winners take there when you just see there that pistol overtook our uh, Morland 99. So pistol was back up to third at that point. Into this corkscrew again. Let's see what line he takes through here. Definitely uh, something I need to work on that corner. A 4.2 second lead over one racer. And the back straight. Final corner, still pulling away from one race of 4.5 seconds is up to now. And there we go, that was him done. Now my final lap and you definitely don't want to miss this. Magic Milk, as you can see, he was all over the back of me at this point. And I knew that, of course I knew that. So now I was just trying to push and push and push, try and pull away, try and do a decent lap. I didn't even know what the hell lap times I was doing in this race. I know that I was probably quicker at the beginning of the race than the uh, end, but... Definitely made way too many mistakes in this race. Let's see Magic Milk just there. Didn't get a too bad exit out of that corner that time. Thought I was going wide, but I didn't. Magic Milk went a little bit wide, but he still managed to stay where he was. I got a better exit at that corner than into the horrible chicane early on the brakes. And now it's down to slipstreaming. Back straight. I got a better exit than Magic Milk. He was coming past. Could I outdo him on the brakes? Both went wide as he went really wide to try to get back underneath him. But that last corner wasn't meant to be. And there we go, across the line. And the final results were Enjerk took the win, followed by one racer. Pistol took third place. Armorla 99 was fourth. Magic Milk was fifth. I was sixth. Seventh was Brandy Scales. Eighth was I Dylan. Ninth GSXR Matt 24. And tenth STB Biker. I wasn't too disheartened by that race. I was actually quite happy with uh, my performance, apart from the few mistakes I made. But considering I hate the track, I think that's uh, that's pretty good going. And it was good to uh, actually get in the leader momentarily. So let's have a look at the championship. One racer is still in the lead with 261 points. But closing in is Enjerk in second with 252. I, Dylan, didn't get a great result this time. I don't think he likes the track. I definitely don't. 
Uh, he's still in third with 175, but closing in on him is Armorland 99 in fourth with 162. And I'm not that far behind third place in fifth with 156. Pistol is still in sixth place with 145. ML007 Heskey hasn't raced for the past two races in seventh with 103. STB Biker eighth with 98. CA Specialized 9th with 84, Brandy Scales 10th with 63, Magic Milk 11th with 49, and Moreland 97 in 12th with 34. So now let's go on to the second page of the championship. And My Sweaty Gibbons is 13th with 32, Surfing Kid 18 in 14th with 28. GSXR Matt moves up two places to 15th with 23 points, ahead of Lukey B67 in 16th with 22 points. Colonel Carlos is 17th with 20 points. Dobby Dazzler 18th with 11. Toyn Ho 19th with 7. And Dubman, 20, Dubman of 1989 in 20th with 7 points. And Samurai 41 in 21st with 4 points. So that's it. The next race. I'm going to have to change the days of the races now. Just because Friday's... I can't do any Fridays now until the new year, so uh, I'm going to either change them to Thursday or Saturday, but uh, I'll speak to the guys and see which they would prefer. And yeah, um, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to leave this video a like, subscribe to my channel for more content, and I shall see you guys in the next video. See you!